It's me, Last One Seventy Nine. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of PS1 games. I can just walk in and out of thrift store. Hello, gamers. It's me, Vice Pillar 79. It's my show. Glad to be back, man. Hello, gamers. It's me, Vice Pillar 79. It's my show. Glad to be back to do another video. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about, do some quick pickups. Uh, with the holiday season and shipping out things, getting getting ready for uh, the holidays and stuff like that, as far as Christmas and ending out the year, I haven't had time to just buy too many games. i uh, been more focused on actually playing my games. And uh, like I said, in last video I completed Mass Effect 1 uh, for the 360 and um, I picked up a few games in between and been focusing on next year what I want to do with the channel what I want to do with games and stuff like that with my life and all that and whatnot um, I've uh, I've gained a new interest in in the channel and stuff like that but um, anywho I wanted to do a quick pick video um, just some quick stuff that I picked up probably over the last two weeks and uh, that's about it uh, first game that I wanted to talk about was Jet Force Gemini I picked this up not too long ago uh, haven't had an opportunity to play it yet I've heard a lot of great things from a lot of great buddies and so when I saw it um, the first time I saw it I passed it up I've actually seen this game probably about three times and about the third time I said man I'm gonna go ahead and add this in my collection because I do love playing my Nintendo 64 it's one of those systems that I, I thoroughly enjoy um, and I've been having a lot of um, a lot of fun with my Nintendo 64 lately so I said why not I will add it um, I happened to walk into a movie trading store and I found a Super Famicom game. Um, they actually sell a lot of them and the first game, one of the games I did see, um, I actually got that, the first game, the, the uh, what's the name of it? <laughs> Jet Force Gemini. I saw that at the movie trading store and got this the same day. I think I paid um, less than ten dollars for both. Um, this one's called Super Fire Pro Wrestling and it's for the Super Famicom. Um, I had a chance to play it on my retro portable duel um, it looks fairly interesting and um, I like the way the graphics and everything looks and despite the fact that it's in Japanese it's actually pretty legible or readable and you know you can kind of pick up on the things as far as what you want to do so I was glad to pick that up uh, the next game that I found for the Sega Genesis is uh, Bugsby another little action I think it's a platform yeah it's a platformer it's not a side scroller it's one of my old school games um that i used to love back in the day um i'm trying to think of one of the games that i um this was one that i actually did get to play i believe i played it on super nintendo so i'm glad i got to add this back in my collection i played like a few dollars for it now one of the games that um i'm surprised that i um found and I played the mess out of this game when, um, man, I have to say I was probably about 10 or 11 was the last time I played this game. So as soon as I got home, I played this like crazy. Uh, it's WrestleMania for the NES, and it actually came with the booklet. You got the booklet, you got the game, and the game is in really good condition. And it's got the protection case and everything. Um, the the graphics on it are just terrible but the gameplay was fun and it's still kind of fun um, I think you could you could uh, do up to about eight players what was cool is that all you needed was two controllers and about eight of your buddies and you guys all got to choose which wrestler you wanted to be and you would just go head to head and we would play this game for several hours it's the old school wrestling type game 
you get to do all the little power moves and everything and pin each other and once it gets to three of course you uh your partner's out but um man I, I spent a lot of time on this um i used to love wrestling like crazy until i found out it was fake and then i moved forward i think around 11 or 12. um what was crazy what was actually interesting is that um, my buddies and i we used to collect the cards we used to collect the wwf cards and everything so we were really really deep into this so i was glad to add this to my collection the uh, game once again is um wf wrestlemania um really really popular in the early early 90s um game came out in the late 80s um so yeah i was glad to have that uh the next game i got um actually my nephew got it for me so that when he comes over he can play it it's a uh, little bit planet part two the special edition with full dlc of man i think it's got like how many characters or costumes there's like probably about 20 30 costumes uh, my son and them and all of them played it online it's it's actually a really good fun game if you never played the original definitely play that I have little big planet one um, got little big planet two now I've had this before but I sold it I didn't have the special edition so it was nice he went out and uh, got this so that anytime he comes through or comes over he can play it now another game that I picked up that my son has with him right now is uh, Final Round, um, or Fight Night, I'm sorry, Fight Night Champion, I think it's the Championship or something like that, Champion Edition, I can't think of it right now, not off the top of my head, um, but I like the game um, from what I've seen, because I watched him play it, you pretty much go through training mode, um, and it's also got some story mode elements to it, and it you pretty much get, you build like a personal relationship with the character, so yeah, it looks pretty interesting, I'll put something up on that. Um, the next game that I just happened to be walking through the store and I found was um, Tecmo Classic Arcades. This is a really, really awesome and interesting compilation. There are tons and tons of games, but the main reason I picked this up was because of Rygar. If you look on the front, you'll see Rygar, Tecmo Bowl. And there's a couple shooters on here. There's some really, really awesome shooters. But Rygar, um, this one is the actual arcade version. So I was blown away because I haven't played the arcade version since like the late 80s or something like that. So it was interesting to be able to, as a matter of fact, it's right there at the top. Really, really awesome. The game came complete, booklet, all that. Um, man, there's tons and tons of games on here, but the interesting ones to me are Techno Bowl, Rygar, of course, The Shooters, um, a few other interesting titles, but yeah, I was really, really glad to have this. Um, I've been popping this in like crazy because of Rygar, and there are like unlimited, I don't even know how many levels are on the original arcade version, but yeah, it lives up and it stands up to this day. It's even better to play it yet again on my original Xbox. To actually have the original Rygar. If you haven't figured out by now, I am a big Rygar fan. Last game I picked up, um, I picked this up last week some time ago. Um, and this is actually in preparation for the sequel that's coming out. Um, I wanted to start playing this, and I have actually been playing this. Um, I haven't put it down since I finished Mass Effect, and that's The Witcher 2. And I actually have um, it's The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings, the enhanced, um, it's the enhanced edition. This one actually is really, it's a really, really awesome title. Uh, starts the, stars a character by the name of Geralt. Uh, he's a witcher. Um, he has all these crazy ass powers, got the RPG elements to it, more of um, the realistic elements of decision making and and it alters your game and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it does the it does the storyline of going back and forth. But basically you start off where one of the kings gets assassinated and they blame you for the killing of that person, of that king. 
but you and the king, you actually were protecting the king. So your job now is to go after the king slayer and and basically redeem yourself from this unrighteous crime that they're pinning on you. And it's it's been very very interesting thus far. I probably put in about somewhere about five ten hours so far. Um, but you have the actual disc, and then you have the bonus disc. And I haven't had a chance to pop that in. I've been too busy playing the, the actual game itself. But yeah, um, those are some of the quick games that I, I gathered and picked up over the last few weeks. Uh, tell me any new interesting games that you've added to your collection. Um, I do thank you again for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that. I'm this close to 700 subscribers. I would like to try to close out the year on 700 subscribers. So thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. And thank you for um, retweeting and hitting me up on all social networks and letting people know about my video uh, channel, the YouTube channel. But other than that, I'm Life Spiller 79, and I'm out.